Welcome to Mind Mentor. In this video, we will discuss about malaria. It is a potentially life-threatening infectious disease caused by parasitic protozoa of the genus Plasmodium. It is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Malaria is a significant global health concern, particularly in tropical and subtropical regions where these mosquitoes are prevalent. Here's an overview of key aspects of malaria, causes and transmission. Malaria is primarily caused by several species of the plasmodium parasite, with P. falciparum and P. vivax being the most common. When an infected female mosquito bites a human host, it injects the malaria parasites into the bloodstream. These parasites then travel to the liver and multiply before re-entering the bloodstream to infect red blood cells. Symptoms Malaria can lead to a wide range of symptoms, which typically appear 10 to 15 days after the mosquito bite. Common symptoms include high fever, chills, sweats, headaches, and fatigue. In severe cases, it can cause anemia, organ failure, and even death. Types of malaria Un Uncomplicated malaria this is the most common form and is characterized by the symptoms mentioned above. 2. Severe malaria. This is a medical emergency and can lead to complications like cerebral malaria, severe anemia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and organ failure. It can be fatal if not treated promptly. Diagnosis. Malaria is diagnosed through blood tests that can detect the presence of the plasmodium parasite or its genetic material. Treatment. Malaria is treatable and curable if detected early. The choice of treatment depends on the type of plasmodium species causing the infection and the severity of the disease. Common anti-malarial drugs include chloroquine, artemisinin-based combination therapies, and others. It's crucial to complete the full course of treatment to prevent the development of drug-resistant strains. Prevention 1. Vector control. This involves measures to reduce the mosquito population, such as using insecticide-treated bed nets and indoor residual spraying. 2. Chemoprophylaxis. People traveling to malaria endemic areas can take preventive medications to reduce the risk of infection. 3. Personal protection. Wearing long-sleeved clothing and using insect repellents can help prevent mosquito bites. Vaccination. In recent years, a malaria vaccine known as RTSS-ASO1 or Moscorix has been developed and is in limited use. It provides partial protection against P. falciparum, mainly in children in certain African countries. Epidemiology. Malaria is a significant public health problem, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, where the majority of malaria cases and deaths occur. However, it also exists in parts of Asia, Latin America, and other regions. Efforts to control and eventually eradicate malaria include the development and distribution of effective vaccines, improved healthcare infrastructure, and continued research into the biology of the plasmodium parasite and the behavior of the Anopheles mosquito vector. These measures aim to reduce the global burden of malaria and improve the health and well-being of populations at risk of infection. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe our channel, Mind Mentor.